What up, what up? Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. How are you holding up? Because your girl is over here um, trying to figure out how to not go buy cake. I literally just bought a piece of cake while I was out. Um, and I know we ain't supposed to be leaving the house and stuff, but I, I needed a few things. <laughs> and while I was out, Half Price Bookstore was having 50% off, so I bought a book. Anyway, back home, ready to get it in. But I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to be reading. And I would say this is probably going to take me two months. Because while I like to read, I also need to be somewhere writing. And I got to work. And work out. And, you, you know, just everyday stuff. So, um, but I got several books that I'm trying to read. So, let's, you know what, hold on. Before we get right into it, have you been to KiraLee.com? You see how I'm looking at you. <laughs> Make sure you head over there. I am celebrating Women's History Month. Um, so, I've got some great stories. Make sure you check it out. Um, but, yes, I got some good books that I'm excited to read. So, first, starting with Little Fires Everywhere. One of the reasons I picked this up is because of the Hulu series. And Hulu's one of the few channels I do have, like, you know, like I don't have Netflix anymore or subscriptions that I have. Um, but I've heard mixed reviews about this. So if you've read it, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. But I'm pretty excited about it. I really don't know much about it. I like outside of what I've seen with Kerry Washington and Reese with with the spoon. And y'all know that Reese be up here like taking books and <laughs> making them into her own movies and projects. So that, that's literally all I knew. No, it's not a long read. I have no idea what to expect. But if you've read it um, and you think it's great or if you're like, eh, I don't know, Carrie, you may not love it, let me know. And also, I probably won't read it in time to watch the series. I think the series starts on March 18th, if I'm correct. Um, so I may not be able to watch me read it in time because I still got another one I got to finish. But let me know what you think of this one. All right. And next, I have The Cactus. And y'all know, I'll be around here. I got my... Uh, <laughs> Half Price Bookstore receipt in there. Now, this was actually recommended to me by a woman on my in my book club. I have no idea what to expect about this either. I mean, normally when it's pink and green, <laughs> hello. Um, but normally when you see this kind of colors, that you may feel like it's always oh, a soft, it's a romantic read, whatever that might be. I literally have no idea. I, I bought this very bl uh, blind and was like, hey, if somebody else thinks it's good in my book club, and. I don't know. It says it's international bestseller, so it probably takes place somewhere else. I really don't know. But by Sarah Haywood, I'm taking a chance, a big chance on this one because I literally haven't done any research. It was just recommended to me. And I was like, eh, all right, I'll read it. Again, if you've read it, let me know any thoughts, what you what you see down below. And, and normally I don't really do the whole, like, white girl and white guy thing. I mean, I'm like, that's like literally every day, every Hallmark movie you can imagine. Again, I am taking a chance. We're going to see. It was recommended. So, these next few, um, JoJo. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. And y'all know I'll be around here repping Half Price Bookstore. Half Price Books, y'all need to give me a discount on a regular basis. Um, but The Giver of the Stars. She read, I mean, she wrote, uh, I think, Me Before You, which was actually made into a movie that I love. I love her books. And her books normally make me cry. She's not as dramatic as, uh, say, Kristen Hanna. But I think this is her newest one. Let's see, this the copyright for this one is, I want to say 2019 or 2020. It's 2019. So this is, I think, is her newest one out. So I'm looking forward to it. Again, Half Price Bookstores. This is the one I bought today because they were having 50% off. And, you know, I normally do the comparison like, hey, is Amazon cheaper? Because Amazon was only $14. I mean, it was $14, but this only came out to $11. So if it's not good, it's going back. Um, and maybe I'll get like $5 or something. <laughs> I'm acting like they give that much. They'll probably give me $3, but you know what? That's something. Now this one, um, speaking of summer, so this is by Kalisha um, Buchanan. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her last name. It just spelled a little different than what I normally see it. Um, this was actually a, um, a book club read of mine that I never read. So I got the chance to get this and I want to say it was, yeah, $12.99 and I got a discount off of it at half price bookstores. Um, and also black author, I was like, let me go and support. And my local library did not have this. So I might donate this to my local library, depending on how much I love it. Um, cause again, if they don't have it and I feel like there's other young black women out there that want to read. So I want to make sure, but I've heard, I've heard mixed reviews about this one. I love the cover. Can we talk about like the melanin, come on, and the flowers and all of that? I literally have no idea what to expect with this one, but as a fellow writer, I want to make sure that I'm supporting and learning and I'm, I'm curious. I'm really curious about this. Again, there were mixed reviews from my book club. Oh, I'm actually really excited about this one. A woman is no man. 
I actually just randomly picked this one up at Half Price Bookstore. And um, the reason why I was really interested is because um, it's about Palestinian um, immigrants. And, you know, often I read about the black experience, love that, that's always first on my list. Um, and, I, you know, I think about like, we hear about like Asian maybe, and of course like white culture, but I was like, oh, I really want to read about a different culture. And ultimately um, it's about two different uh, stages in time or two different generations, should I, should I say, and about being, um, having a, a husband cho chosen for you. I could easily say back in the day like will somebody choose one um but yeah I feel like this I, I'm really curious that's like how this plays out and it basically it's 1990 and 2008 so and I don't know if this author has written other books uh, this might be her first one um but the copyright is 2019 so it's uh, very very relevant and I'm excited to you know see what it's about and I these are my books, you guys. I am I, I am set to go while we are quarantined in the house um, and there's no grocery stores or bars or restaurants or anything open. I will be eating and reading. What are you going to be doing, okay? And make sure a part of your reading, you head over to carrylee.com and let me know what you're reading or just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these or if you're planning to or we can read them together and have some discussion about it. You let me know. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy reading.